and Roly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Right, I think that's everything we need, Scoop. Bags of cement, tins of paint, the rest is already at the site. OK, Bob, ready to go. Ready, Bob! Ready, Bob! Rock and roll! Oh, great! Right then, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. See you later! Travis? Morning, Bob. Wow. They're going fast. Why can't you go that fast, Travis? Because I'm a tractor spud. I wish I could go as fast as them. I'd be Spud the super speedy scarecrow. Oh, come on, Spud. Let's go and do Farmer Pickles recycling. Put your foot down, Travis. Fast is fun. <laughs> right, Spud. You can unload the rubbish from my trailer into the recycling bins. Spud, that's not how to do it. That's how I do it. <laughs> Spud, the cans go in that bin and the bottles go in this bin. This bin, that bin, it's all rubbish, Travis. Spud. All right, all right, Travis. Cans in this bin. Bottles in that bin. Oh, what about saucepans? Where do they go? Over there, I think. Oh, right. Oh, what's this? Hey, look at these! We're supposed to be putting things in the bins, not pulling things out. These aren't just things, Travis. They're wheels! They look like old junk to me. Oh, no more going slow for me. Now I just need one more thing. See you back at the farm, Travis! Bud, where are you going? Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. Ah, that's not rubbish. It's what I need to make Spud the fastest scarecrow ever. <laughs> hello there, Bob. Everything in order? Oh, hello, Mr Bentley. Yes, I think we've got everything we need. Very good. I've, uh, I've had the road closed for you, as we discussed. Thanks, Mr Bentley. Safety first, you know. Quite right, Mr Bentley. So what are we building, Bob? Uh, yeah, um, is it a race? A race course? Oh, dearie me, no, Dizzy. Quite the opposite. You're putting in traffic calming measures. Oh, great! I love calm things! Oh! <laughs> what are traffic calming measures, Mr Bentley? Well, Dizzy, they'll make this a safer place for people to cross the road. Um, do they make everyone calm, then? <laughs> Not exactly. They make the cars slow down and drive very carefully. Roly drives slowly all the time. So is the way to go. <laughs> yes, that's right, Roly. Good. Well, I'll leave you to it, Bob. I've got another job to supervise. Bye-bye now. Bye, Mr Bentley. Right, you lot. No going slow for us. Let's start building. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. What are you up to, Spud? Hello! It's Skateboard Spud, the fastest scarecrow in the world! Oh, that's what you've been doing. Oh, stand back, Travis. Here I come. You know how to skateboard, Spud. I'm a skateboarding expert, Travis. <coughs> Shoo! Go away! <coughs> oh. <coughs> Horrible feathery squawky crow! Oh dear, Spud. I thought you said you were an expert. I am. I'm off to find somewhere to skateboard where there's no crows to put me off. <laughs> Wait for me, Spud. I want to watch. Ah! 
I need the timber now, please. OK, Bob. <laughs> right. That's the timber frame finished. Now we can pour the cement in. Dizzy. <laughs> Dizzy? <laughs> Hello, Dizzy. <laughs> Come on, Dizzy. We've got work to do. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, Bob. <laughs> it's one of my favourite songs. It goes... It goes... Yes, I know. But it's time to pour the cement now. Are you sure you know how to ride a skateboard, Spud? Of course I do, Travis. I'm an expert, remember? Scruffy? No! Out of my way, Scruffy! I can't play with you now! Silly, woofing, wagging, dog. <laughs> well, you're an expert, all right, Spud. An expert at making me laugh. <laughs> it's not funny, Travis. That's it, Dizzy. Pour away. Nearly there. Stop! Oh, that's all the cement, Bob. Thanks, Dizzy. These poles will be good and fixed once the cement dries. Now, I'll just smooth it all down. Right, let's get this finished. Phew, this is hard work. Right. Time for Skateboard Spud to hit the town! I don't think you should be skateboarding in the road, Spud. Don't worry, Travis. Here I go! Oh, no! Spud! Ah! Hey, Spud! You're going too fast! Oh! Out of the way! Bud, stop! There, finished. The road will be a lot safer now. Well done, everyone. No prob, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. I, I, I don't mind doing it. Really, it's sort of my job. Who wants to be first to go through? Me, 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 Go slow, too. <laughs> well, I'll have to pick one of you, and I think it should be... Spud! <laughs> Spud! Are you OK? Oh, dear. I think so. Good. But you know you shouldn't have been playing on the road, Spud. It's not allowed. It's dangerous. I oh, know, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Here, Bob. I think it's stuck. Perhaps your feathered friend can help you get it off. Ah! 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 Oh, no! Horrible feathery crow! Get off! <laughs> Join the crew. 
Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we Mrs Broadbent's got a big bulge in her wall and it needs repairing. <laughs> Where's Mrs Broadbent's big bulge, Bob? Well, actually, Muck, the gable end of her house has got a lot of damp bricks that need taking out, or the whole wall might collapse. Ooh, well, that sounds difficult. It's tricky, Dizzy, but we can do it. <coughs> Morning, Bob. Morning, Wendy. Hello, Hello Farmer Pickles. Pickles. Hello there, Farmer Pickles. <laughs> Morning, Scruffy. <laughs> oh, poor Scrafty. Pelcher doesn't like dogs. <laughs> Silly dog. What are you doing? Scrafty's like me. He loves digging. Well, I can't stand around here chatting all day. Mm. We'd better get a move on too, hadn't we, Bob? Yes, lots to do today. Scruffy, come on now. Here, boy. Come, boy. Come, boy. That's a good boy. Oh. Sorry, Scruffy. You can't come with us. Dogs aren't allowed on a building site. Only machines. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Scruffy. I'll give you a nice, juicy bone when we get home. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Yes, no, I think so. Right, bye then. Bye bye. See you later. <sighs> it's a tricky job, Wendy. Hmm, yes. It looks like we'll have to take out a lot of the old brickwork. Right then, let's get started. Um, let's. Bob, if you take the bricks away, will the house fall down? Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll hold it up with some strong metal props. Oh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> That's good. Right, there we are, Scruffy. <laughs> Good boy. That should keep you busy. <coughs> Off you go now. I've got work to do. Hey, Lofty! Can you pass me up some bricks? <coughs> yeah, uh, I think so. Thanks, Lofty. Uh, Mark, we might need some more mortar. Could you pop back to the yard for a few more bags? No problem, Wendy. I'll be back soon. <coughs> Terrible howling noise. 
noise coming from a big hole in Farmer Pickle's field. <laughs> I, I think it's a ghost. Uh, a ghost? Are you sure, Mott? Yes, yes. Come and see for yourself. Oh, you'd better go, Bob. I can finish off here. OK, Wendy. A howling noise coming out of a big hole in the ground? Hmm. Lofty, you come too. We might need you. Um, but, um, Bob, aren't ghosts really sc sc um, scary? Don't worry, Lofty. There's no such thing as ghosts. Um, OK, Bob. I think. Well, Muck, I can't hear a thing. But there was a noise. A really scary noise. It, it came from down there. Well, I can't hear a thing. <coughs> There's your ghost, Muck. It's Scrafty. Stuck down an old rabbit hole. Crafty, what are you doing down there? <coughs> you were digging and you fell down a hole. <coughs> Don't worry, we'll soon have you out. <coughs> oh, I can't reach him. The hole's too deep. What are we going to do? I know. Lofty, can you lower your hook and lift Scrafty out of the hole? Uh, yeah, I think so. OK, Lofty. Lower away. <coughs> A bit further, Lofty. <laughs> well done, Lofty. <laughs> Hold on, Scruffy. <laughs> Hello. What's going on? I thought you were working on Mrs Broadbent's house. We were. But Scrofty got stuck down a rabbit hole. Muck heard him, so we came out and rescued him. <laughs> I never. Poor Scrofty. Well done, Muck. <laughs> we can't leave the hole like that. It's too dangerous. But you can't fill it in, Bob. Where will the rabbits go? I think they've already found somewhere else to live. Right then. Let's finish the job. Can we fill it? Well done, Wendy. It looks as good as new. I'm sure Mrs Broadbent will be very pleased. Uh, but we'll have to match up the new bricks with the rest of the wall. We can come back tomorrow and do that. Right now, oh, excuse me. Right now, I just want to get back to the yard. Oh, me too, Bob. Let's go. And, and I heard this terrible howling noise. And I went right up to the hole and looked down into it. Oh, that's really brave, Mark. Yeah. I know, and I... Lofty was brave too. Well, yeah, yeah, Lofty was brave. Uh, it was Lofty who pulled Scrafty out. Yeah, but uh, it was you that found him first, Mark. Yeah, it was me that found him first. <laughs> Hi, Scrafty. What have you got there? Scrafty's brought a thank you present for his best friend, Muck. <laughs> oh, thank you, Scrafty. That's a lovely bone. <laughs> But I, I don't really need a bone. Why don't you have it, Scruffy? <laughs> no, don't dig another hole, Scruffy. <laughs> oh, we don't want our lean-to collapsing on top of us, do we? <laughs> oh, good idea, Scruffy. Wendy can take care of your bone. <laughs> I'll put it in a safe place and you can have it next time you're here. <laughs>
and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going today, Bob? I'm building a hen coop for Farmer Pickles. What's a hen coop, Bob? It's a little wooden shed for hens to sleep in. Farmer Pickles wants one to keep his chicks safe and snug. Ooh, has Farmer Pickles got some chicks? Not yet, Dizzy, but he's expecting his hen to lay her eggs any time now. What's that? Wendy. It's roofing felt, Dizzy, to cover the roof and keep the rain out. <laughs> That's a good idea. The chicks won't want to get their feathers wet. All set, Muck. Uh, yes, yes, Bob. Can you build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Bye, Muck. into their coops during the day, Bob. Well, they can go in whenever they want to, Muck. It's a nice warm place for the hen to sit on her eggs. Sit on her eggs? <laughs> won't, won't she squash them? No. She just keeps them warm until they're ready to hatch out. Um, Bob, how will the chickens get into the hen coop? Well, that's easy. I'll put two doors in and make little ramps so they can run up and down. Oh, you are clever, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Muck. <laughs> Scruffy, come here. What have you found, Scruffy? Oh, no. The hen's laid her eggs under the hedge. And now she's gone off and left them. Well, we can't stand around here looking for her. The eggs will get cold. Come on, Scruffy. We've got to keep them warm until they hatch out. <laughs> There we are, Muck. All we need now is the roofing felt to cover the coop. OK, Bob. Hello, Farmer Pickles. What have you got there? Oh, eggs, Bob. My hen wandered off after she laid them. I've been trying to keep them warm under this straw. They look nice and snug. Oh, I must try and find the hen, Bob. Could you keep an eye on these while Scruffy and I go and look for her? No problem, Farmer Pickles. Muck can keep the eggs safe in his digger. How do I look after eggs? It's easy, Muck. Just keep very still. Oh, OK, Bob. <laughs> oh, that cockerel's been crowing all morning. I know, Spud. I can't stand it any longer. I'm going to find Farmer Pickles and see if he can make him stop. Good idea, Spud. Oh, there's not enough felt to cover the whole roof. We'll have to go back to the yard for another roll. But, but, but what about the eggs, Bob? They, they might break on the way. You're right, Muck. We'd better leave them here. But we need someone to look after the eggs while we're gone. Farmer Pickles! Farmer Pickles! Oh, hi, Bob. Spud, you're just in time to do a little job for me. Bob said we had to keep the eggs nice and warm. Well, this load of old straw is not much good. Ha! Look, Travis, Farmer Pickle's duvet. That's just what we need to keep the eggs warm. But won't Farmer Pickle's mind you use now? Oh, don't be silly, Travis. Of course he won't. Spud, watch out! Oh! Oh, oh. oh my! Oh, dear. That's torn it. <coughs> <laughs> now you look like a chicken, Spud. Look, Travis! One of, one of the eggs is, is hatching. Ha-ha, <laughs> Spud. The chick thinks you're its mum. Oh, little chicken. 
you, you just settle down. I'll, I'll keep you nice and warm until your mum gets back. Yes, um... Bird, shush, Travis. You, you wake the little chick. What are we going to do with the eggs that haven't hatched out? I'll, I'll look after them, Travis. I'll, I'll take very good care of them and ev everything. And Bird, isn't the mother supposed to look after the chicks? Yes, but I, I don't mind looking after them until she gets back. I, I, I could stay here all day. Yes, sleepy bye byes. <laughs> Oh, it's no good, Scruffy. The hen's not under there. Oh, where could she have gone? Oh, hold on, Scruffy. Wait for me. Right, let's get this hen coop finished. Shush, Bob. You wake them up. What are you talking about, Travis? Spud thinks he's a hen. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, he does look like a chicken. <laughs> I think we'd better let them sleep. Stop, Bob. Huh? The hammering will wake up the chick. Oh, you're right, Travis. But how am I going to finish the hen coop? Can't you hammer the nail in quietly, Bob? <laughs> Well, I can try. There. And I didn't wake the chick. Oh, uh, oh, 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 hi, Bob. Look, one of the eggs has hatched out. You've done really well, Spud. Though I'm not sure what Farmer Pickles will say when he sees his duvet. You did tell me to keep the eggs warm, Bob. <laughs> yes, I did, Spud. Well, the hen coop's finished now, so we can put the eggs inside. <laughs> There we are. <laughs> Look, Bob, I found the mother hen. You're just in time, Farmer Pickles. Spud's been looking after one of the chicks, and I think he needs a rest. Go on now, little chicky. Yes, it's been nice looking after you, but... Your real mum's waiting for you now in, in the coop. Off, off you go. No, go on. <laughs> oh, look! The other eggs have hatched out. And I can see your chick, Spud. It's snuggled up with its mum and all its brothers and sisters. Oh, that's nice, Bob. <laughs> I wonder where their dad is. Well, well, here he comes now. What? That noisy old cockerel's the dad? Oi, you! You should have been here looking after your chicks instead of leaving it all to me. Get off! I'm not a hen! Oh dear, Spud! You certainly have a way with chickens! He's a cock-a-doodle, Scarecrow! <laughs> Spud's on the job!
Jock and Dizzy and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Right, team, let's get going. Yippee! <laughs> What's the job, Bob? Well, Dizzy, we're going to lay a driveway at Lenny Lazenby's house. Rock and roll! Oh! Do you think Lenny will play his guitar for us, Bob? Sorry, Rolly. He's away on tour with the Lasers, his rock band. Oh, no. I'm sure he'll play for you when he comes back. Isn't Wendy coming with us, Bob? She's got today off, Scoop. Her sister's coming to stay, so she's preparing a surprise party to welcome her. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. And she wants you to help her with a special job, Dizzy. <gasps> On my way, Bob. Right. If you can take these, Mock. I think that's everything. But, you know, I'm sure there was something else I was meant to do. Ah, oh, well, never mind. We'd better get going. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Hello, Wendy. Bob said you had a special job. That's right, Dizzy. We've got a barbecue to build for tonight's party. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> um, what's a barbecue, Wendy? It's like a big oven made of bricks, Dizzy, so you can cook food outside. Oh, outside! Oh, brilliant! Now I need you to mix some cement for the base. OK, Wendy! Da -da -da -da. Woo! <laughs> hey! Um... Wendy? Yes, Dizzy? Why don't you and your sister live together? Well, we used to, Dizzy, but Jenny's job means she has to live somewhere else. Oh, um, is Jenny staying for ages, Wendy? For a whole week, Dizzy. Right, I'm ready for that cement. This is where the drive is going to be. Wow! It's going to be the biggest drive ever! Look at all these bricks and paving slabs. My goodness, that is a lot. Oh, no. What is it, Bob? Now I remember. Bricks. I was supposed to send some bricks over for Wendy's barbecue. Come on, Muck. Let's get you loaded up. Right. Next we need the bricks. Oh, um, what bricks, Wendy? Oh, no. I knew there was something missing. Bob's forgotten to send them. What are we going to do, Wendy? Well, I'd better phone Bob. Oh, there's no answer. Bob must have forgotten his phone, too. Oh, no. Dizzy, can you go over to the Lazenby's and remind Bob to send Muck round with the bricks? On my way, Wendy! I know, I know. I'm going there now. Great. I'll come with you. Oh, thanks, Muck. I don't know what I'd have done if you hadn't brought these bricks. Oh, that's all right, Wendy. Well, you can go back and help Bob again now. Right, Wendy. Bye, Muck. Hi, everyone. Wow! We could all fit on there. Yeah, yeah, we could, Mark. <laughs> Nobody's going to be able to park on here if we don't get a move on. Oh, right, Dizzy. All finished. Oh, it's brilliant, Wendy. What else can I do to help? Well, um... There are the invitations to deliver. Oh, yippee! <laughs> Let's go, then. It's going to be a very special party, Mr Bentley. Yes, it's a barbecue. <laughs> well, that's excellent. I, uh, I do enjoy a good barbecue. Oh, Wendy, I'm really looking forward to meeting your sister. <laughs> so am I. Is that everyone, Wendy? Not quite. 
I've got these very special invitations left. So, let's get back to the yard. I hope there's going to be lots of games at the party. Dizzy can bring a football, yeah! We can have races! Ask the parcel! <laughs> it's not that sort of party, Mark. Right, let's go, team. Time to party! What is it, Dizzy? <laughs> it's these. Party invitations. Rock and roll! Where's mine, Bob? Have I got one, Bob? Oh, of course. There's one for each of you. Right. We'd better get ready now. Come on, then. Hey, liven up, team. Sorry, Bob, but the others couldn't stay awake. Oh. <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, I suppose it has been a busy day. Will Wendy be upset if we don't go, Bob? I'm sure she'll understand, Scoop. You are usually asleep by now. OK, Bob. I'll see you later. What about you, Pilchard? Are you coming? <coughs> yes, that barbecue does smell good, doesn't it? Oh, yes. You see, when I barbecue, I always use a pair of tongs. I don't know. A, a fork has always done very well for me. These sausages look as if they're ready. <laughs> oh, I think Struft is enjoying the barbecue. <laughs> now, everyone, I want you to meet my sister, Jenny. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, hello Jenny. Jenny. Can I get you something from the barbecue, Jenny? Oh, please. It smells delicious. Right, oh. I spit a brickwork your sister had done there, Jenny. Oh, thank you, Mr Bentley. Oh, excuse me. I've just seen someone I want Jenny to meet. Hello, Bob. I wonder where you were. Hello, Pilchard. Oh, hello, Wendy. I think Pilchard's seen the sausages. Where are the machines, Bob? Oh, I'm sorry, Wendy. They couldn't keep their eyes open. Oh, dear. Oh, Jenny will be so disappointed. She can't wait to meet them. Mm, they've been looking forward to meeting her, too. Well, never mind. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> now, come with me, Bob. Jenny, here's someone very special I want you to meet. Oh, don't tell me. It's Bob, isn't it? Yes, Wendy's told me all about you. Oh, really? And, uh... Oh, where are your famous team? Oh, they're all fast asleep, Jenny. I'll take you to meet them in the morning. Oh, what a shame. Can't I see them now? Well, um... <laughs> hey, Scoop! Scoop! Wake up! Oh, is it, is it morning? Don't be silly. Listen, can you hear the party? Ugh, what's all that noise? Wake up, everyone! Listen to that music! Rock and roll! Oh, brilliant! Shh, quick, it's Bob. Pretend you're asleep. They're just in here. So, this is the team, then? Yes, it's a shame they're all asleep. Surprise! We're not really asleep. Oh, we should have known better. <laughs> Everyone, I'd like you all to meet my sister, Jenny. Pleased to meet you, Jenny. Hello. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Uh, um, hello, Jenny. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. I don't think we're tired anymore. I'm wide awake, Bob. <laughs> um, is it too late to go to the party? Mm. What do you think, Wendy? Oh, it's up to Jenny, really. Well, I don't know. It is getting late. B.S. Of course, I'd love you all to come. Thanks, Jenny.
and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Right, time we were off. Sorry, Dizzy, I don't think we'll need you today. Oh, let me come, please, Wendy, please! <laughs> oh, all right, Dizzy. You can carry these drain rods for me. Hey, <laughs> yippee! <sighs> Morning, everyone. Morning, Bob. What have you been doing, Bob? I've been working at the town hall all night. Laying liner. All night? Wow! That must have been very dark and scary. Oh, no, Mark. It was fun. I had to get it done while no one else was working there. <sighs> <sighs> well, sounds like you need to get some sleep, Bob. <sighs> You're right, Wendy. Well, we won't disturb you. I'm off with Muck and Dizzy to unblock a flooded drain and I'm sure the rest of you will be extra quiet, won't you? Yes. I'll try to be quiet, yeah, but I've got a very loud voice. Thanks, everyone. Good night, Bob. Good night, Bob. Good night, everyone. Oh, I thought it was moaning. Can we fix it? Oh, no, Scoop. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, can we fix it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won! I am Spud the Checkers Champ! <laughs> well done, Spud. Do you want another game, Farmer Pickles? Oh, I'm sorry, Spud. I've got work to do. Oh! Oh, well. I'll have to find someone else to beat then. <laughs> oh, dear. This is worse than I thought. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> it's like a great big puddling pool. I'll get the tools out of the container and then we can set the pump up. Right, Wendy. Oh, what was that? <laughs> it's coming from the drain. <laughs> Maybe it's a drain monster. Oh, with, with big, scary green eyes. Yeah! <laughs> Brilliant! Dizzy, can I have those rods from your mixer, please? Coming, Wendy! Oh, uh, stay down there, rain monster! Ooh. Wakey, wakey, Spud's here! <laughs> oh, Spud! Bob's sleeping. He was working all night at the town hall. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, Bob. Uh, uh, anyone want a game of checkers? I think those checkers are too small for us to pick up, Spud. Oh, yeah. I know. I'll find something bigger to you. Shh, Spud! Oh, 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 Spud! Shush! Hey, we could use these tyres as checkers. Yeah, and the other side can be road cones. Oh, now the board's too small. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> Look, one checkers board. Nice one, Spud. <laughs> Spud, the checkers champ, is on the job. Oh, the, the container's almost full, Wendy. It's all right, Dizzy. I've nearly pumped all the water out. There. Finished. Now we can clear the blockage. How are we going to do that, Wendy? I'm going to push it out with these long rods. Wow! Oh, oh. oh dear. I can't get the blockage to move. Oh. oh, it must be really big. Oh, no. Like... Great monster size. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Mark, but it's a good job we brought the drill. Why? What are you going to do, Wendy? We'll have to dig up the road. Oh, no! So, who's going to play Spud the Checkers Champ? What about you, eh, Lofty? Oh, um, I don't... 
don't know how to play. <laughs> it's easy. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll help you. Oh, well, OK, Scoop. You can go first, Lofty. Oh, um, what do I do? Just move one of your tyres diagonally to the next square. Oh, um, what's diagonally? Um, halfway between sideways and forward. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Hooray! Oh, yeah, yeah, good move. Oh, yeah, we're really diagonally, didn't we? Bob's sleeping, remember? Ow! Oh, I forgot something. Oh, sorry, Scoop. Right. My go. <laughs> this is going to be easy. What are you looking for, Wendy? My ear protectors. I can't use the drill without them. I'll have to pop back to the yard for the spare ones. Oh, oh, can I take you, Wendy, please? <laughs> Muck's scared of a monster. I am not. <laughs> oh, Muck, you can come with me if you want. Hooray! I don't have to stay. Uh, ahem, uh, I mean, uh, yes, uh, right, Wendy. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, yes! Hey, oh, well done, that Squad! Clever, really, isn't it? <laughs> Beat you again, Lofty. You must be getting tired of this. <laughs> Yay, well, Lofty. well done, Lofty! <laughs> that was beginner's luck. Shh. What's all this noise? You'll wake Bob up. Oh, hello, Wendy. Sorry, but this is really exciting. Oh, that's OK, but just play quietly. Um, whose turn is it? Oh, mine. It's mine. It isn't, Spud. You just moved that cone over there. Oh, uh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot. Are you sure that's a good move, Lofty? everyone. OK, Muck, I've got them. Let's get back to work. Muck! Muck! <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Wendy. Right. Bye, then. And remember, quiet. What are you doing, Dizzy? I'm listening to the funny noises the drain is making. Oh, don't get too close. It's all right, Muck. There aren't any monsters down there. Whoa! It's the drain monster! Look out, Muck! Oh, no, Wendy. You'll have to pump that water out again. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's all right, Muck. Look, <laughs> it's all running away. The force of the water was so strong, it must have washed away the blockage. Oh, well done, Muck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Only one tyre left, Lofty. You'll never beat me now. What's happening, Scoop? I think Lofty's going to lose. Oh, no! Is the game over yet? <laughs> it will be in a minute. Spot the checkers champ wins again. Oh, um, um, but can't I take the next cone as well? Oh, yes. Yes, you can, Lofty. Oh, and, um, this one too. Look, you won, Lofty. Great move. Oh, no. I've been beaten by a crane. Well done, well Lofty. Done, Lofty. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, sorry, Bob. Did all our noise wake you up? No, I didn't hear a thing, Wendy. I was wearing these. My ear protectors. So that's where they'd got to. Hey, what have you been doing with the lino? Uh, playing checkers. Wow, checkers? My favourite game. You should have woken me up. 